Morning YouTube, it's Joe here. Um, it's Saturday morning. I've just bit, got back from a boot sale and from a little um, jumble sale uh, just down the road from me. And I thought I'd just show you what I've been up to, what I've picked up, and also some of the things that I've sold yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'll just go straight into what I picked up at the boot sale this morning. So I picked up this, um, this is like a Nerf um, Havoc Fire. It's the big battery operated gun. Um, it's got, it's sort of add-ons and it's got the laser sight, it's got the tripod. I don't know, I, I think it's missing um, like a belt which the bullets feed into it on, but I didn't really know. Um, for a couple of quid I thought there's got to be some money in that. I've not sold Nerf much stuff before, so I, hopefully I've got enough of that to be able to sell that. Um, picked up a, a few board games, picked up Coronation Street Monopoly, not a particularly desirable Monopoly, but it was only a quid and it's got everything sealed inside, so it's new inside. Should maybe get about a tenner back on that. Scrabble, same old, same old for a pound. This uh, dungeon game came from the cob, um, came from this jumble sale that I've just got back from, and that was a pound, and that sells for about 15 to 20 quid, so that's a good one. It's a really old game, so that was a nice pickup. And then also this ghostly galleon came from that jumble sale, that was um, two pounds, and that goes for um, about 12 quid, sometimes a bit more. Uh, two really great pickups from that uh, jumble sale as well. I got this, uh, I think it's Blackbeard's. Um, 6289 Lego, it's complete um, with the box, it's missing the instructions but that goes for about 60 to 80 quid, well, anything up to 100 quid really on eBay, um, especially at this time of year. Um, you don't see many of them with the box, you often see them with the instructions but not the box, so that was that was 15 quid I paid for that. And then I picked up another big Lego set off the, at the jumble sale as well, The where is the number, 6098, this sort of medieval castle, and again that's complete um, with the instructions as well, and that does about 60 quid. There was another guy who'd got to the the jumble set at the same time as I had and he was clearly a bit of a dealer and he was looking around at some of the things <laughs> um, like action figures and games and stuff like that and I saw these straight away and paid for them and put, um, and a lady put them behind the table and then a few minutes later he was ferreting under the table trying to drag them out and I just tapped him and I said I'm sorry mate I've already bought those <laughs> at which stage he gave me a bit of a filthy look but you know that's that's his problem I'm sure he got some picked up some good stuff so that was from that was stuff from the boot um, from the jumble sale Carrying on with the boot sale, um, another story here, I picked up these two games, a guy had picked up um, and bought a little s SNES bundle with a, cup, uh, with a NES controller actually, not a SNES controller and no lead, but it had these two games in it, and he, I said to him, I asked him, how, I, I do some business with him actually, and I asked him how much he paid for it, and he said he paid six quid for it, and I said, well did he want did did he, did he want me to just buy the games off him for six quid? And um, then it wouldn't, he wouldn't have made a loss on it. And he said, oh, if you give me eight quid. So I gave him eight quid for those two games. This game, Turrican, it goes for about 20 quid, 25 quid. If it had been Turrican 2, which is obviously super rare, that goes for about 150 quid. So still good, though. Good money in those. Picked up these two Skylanders, new and sealed. This one's got a bit of damage, but they were two pounds each. Um, should do a bit of money on that. Um... Xbox 360 game, uh, Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. I mean, the Naruto series on... Oh, no, no, Naturo Naruto series that does really well actually they're really popular I paid seven quid for that but that should do about 20 quid um, so that's quite a quick easy sale uh, moving on here a couple of these um, uh, travel board games a Monopoly and a Cluedo they were 50p each and they're sort of sealed inside so that's really good um, Time Crisis the G-Con just the gun um, yeah uh, pound for that but I've got the game so I can put that together and should do about 15 quid on that Picked up a couple of pairs of jeans, uh, got a pair of diesel Flagex uh, 880s, waist 34, leg 30, they were two quid. Um, I haven't sold Flagex for a while, but I'm, I should imagine they'll do about 20, 25 quid. They're real baggy, loose sort of fit. They've got a bit of, the hems aren't great, but I'll just cut that all off and it looks perfect really by the time you finish. A uh, pair of Ralph Lauren jeans, again I don't really buy much Ralph Lauren jeans, but these were a pound, so I thought I'd take a chance on them, see if I can do anything with them and a pair of Levi diesel cur uh, Levi's um, curved jeans they were from a charity shop I got in the week they were two quid I got this is nice actually I've not really sold stuff like this before but I've seen a few people do retro sort of sportswear and this is like an Umbro sweatshirt I remember these when I was a kid growing up um, and that was 4 which sounds a lot but it goes for about 25 30 quid and it's in absolutely excellent condition there's no bobbling it's hardly been worn so that was a good pickup um, moving down here, a few little pairs of trainers, got this pair of Converse, They're, they need washing, they're tiny um, and they probably need some better laces put in them but they were 30p. This little pair of kids New Balance, £1.50, pair of Jordans, little kids toddler Jordans, 3 quid. should get about 15 quid back on them. 
These were 50p, a little pair of red Converse. They've got the Diamante, someone's just gone to the time of sticking them on. These ones are missing the laces, but you know, you should get maybe a tenner back on those, maybe a bit less, but I'm not going to lose anything. Yeah, a pair of Vans, little kiddie ones again, size, uh, I think they're seven and a half or seven, something like that. No, nope, five and a half. So four and a half UK. So there's tiny ones, and they were one pound fifty as well. Again, I think I've said this before. I, I tend to steer clear of um, toddler and toddler trainers. If they're baby ones, if they're real small ones like some of these, you do all wear all right on them. As soon as they start getting to the size sort of twelves, ones, twos, they're quite tricky to shift. But at the right price, you can do all right on them. So won't be a huge amount of money in those, but should do all right. Got a nice pair of Air Force One. White trainers, they need cleaning up, which I do to all my trainers. They're actually missing the inner soles, which is slightly irritating, but he wanted eight quid for them, and when I said, well, there's no inner soles, I got them for six, which sounds, again, maybe like I've overpaid for them, but I sell these all the time for 25, 30 quid, so, yep, should be fine. Best pair of trainers I picked up for the day, by far, this pair of Nike Max Air 95s. Um, really good condition, the tread is excellent. Um, there was a couple of people looking at and wanting them, um, so I knew as soon as whatever price they said I was going to have to pay it. But I was, as long as it was under, if it was sort of 25 downwards, I knew I was going to be happy with it. And she wanted 15 for them, so that was a no-brainer. Those should go for about 60 quid. Yeah, I'll put them on at least 60. I'll just check on previous listings, but yeah, that's a great pair of trainers. Um, over here, a pair of kickers, new in the box, um, two quid. So I've not really sold anything like that before, but I'm sure there's money in that. And this pair of Converse at the back, uh, size fives, again, two quid in the box. They've got slightly dirty rims, but that will all clean off absolutely no problem. So yeah, all in all, really good morning, actually. Loads of stuff. The Legos are obviously a great pickup. Um, and these Air Maxes. The Nerf gun, I don't really know much to say about it, but should do all right on that. Teragema. Uh, um, yeah, a good game as well. T uh, sorry, Turrican, a good game. So, if it was Terragema, that would be incredible. That's games worth even more. But that's, yeah, fine. In terms of sales, uh, yesterday, I did alright again. I sold this pair of Vans for 17 quid with free shipping. Sold this really nice pair of Levi 501s, 3434. 34. I can't remember what I paid for them. It's probably in one of my other videos, but I sold them for 35 quid. It would have been less, it would have been like six quid or something like that, I'd imagine. So, did well on those. Yeah, Furbies, Furby, Furby Furblings, everyone was buying these. They were on offer at Asda. They were £7.50, and then you could get a little bit more off with some of the other vouchers and codes and stuff like that, but sold those two for 18 quid each. So, yeah, good good on those. I've only got a few more of those to shift, so should do all right on those. Monopoly Arsenal Edition, got 12 quid for that. Cluedo London Edition, got 20 quid for that with free posting. Um, so, well on those. And I sold these two NES controllers. They went for uh, 14 quid or 13 quid and uh, five pound shipping because they're going overseas. So this game, this is a game worth picking up if you see it. Mega Games 2, um, sold that for eight quid with free posting for the Mega Drive. It's a good game actually. The games it's got on it, Streets of Rage, Shinobi, Golden Axe, they're all pretty good games. They're worth quite a bit of money if you pick, well not quite a bit, but they're worth a little bit of money if you pick them up by themselves. But this car is like a good one to go for. Better than that though was this game, Two Crew Dudes. I picked this up as part of a bundle in the summer. Um, I sold, I, I paid 50 quid and I sold the Mega Drive for like 60 quid by itself and then had about 15 games to shift. This one went for 25 quid, it's quite a rare game. Um, and I think I've said in my videos previously, what I do with Mega Drive games is I open them out and post them in an F3 jiffy bag so they still go as a large letter. So, quite good. So yeah, so that's all in all, that's everything I've sold. I've also been doing, um, some of that, I've not got any of them up here with me, but the Muller, Muller Rice, you could buy the um, codes and people are paying, uh, you get a, you get a little teddy bear if you send off eight codes and currently the, the, the Muller Rice are only costing eight quid for eight packs at Tesco. So I bought loads of them, sold the codes, so they're doing quite well with them, except I've got a fridge full of um, Muller Rice, so I'm <laughs> going to have to start giving that stuff away. Um, so yeah, I've done all right on that. But yeah, generally quite a good week actually. I've not, not posted much because I've just been so busy and just having to listing and posting and working. So yeah, that's my week. Hope everyone's had a good one. Hope you had a good finds this morning if you've been out. Yep, like, rate, subscribe, comment. It'd be great to hear from you. Cheers.